Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up, install, and the basic functions of the Sire Coin wallet. Sire Coin is interesting because not only is it a cryptocurrency that you can use to send and receive Sire Coins and other regular transactions, the Sire Coin network is really interesting because it's a decentralized data storage network, or at least part of it is. So that's quite an interesting uh, feature. What I'd like to show you is how to set up the SciCoin wallet and some of the basic functions now. So I'm on the actual official website, which is sire.tech, and that's what you can see in front of you. So we're gonna go through the actual process of downloading and uh, installing the wallet. So if we go to the button on the front there, which is the download now, it'll actually take us to the SciCoin uh, GitHub repo repo and then we will want to just download the file for our installation I'm on a Windows 10 so I'm just going to go for this download here which is Windows 32 and also 64-bit zip file so we're just going to download that okay so that's downloaded now we can just go to our downloads folder so here's the zip file that we just downloaded if I right click then I can just extract it to a folder Uh, once this is extracted, you can um, move this folder to anywhere you like. Um, for simplicity, I'm just going to leave it in a downloads folder, but like I say, you can actually move that anywhere. So if we just go into that same folder, and it's got another folder inside it, as sometimes happens when the files are zipped. So we go inside that one as well. And then we've got the actual program itself, which is sire-ui.exe. So we're just going to double click on that and then it's going to open up the actual Sirecoin wallet. So first thing that pops up is a Windows firewall alert. So we just want to tick to allow it to connect through private networks and then we just want to select allow access. Okay, so I'm just going to close these other windows in the background. So this is the actual Sirecoin wallet. You can see in the top right hand corner, it says synchronizing and the current block is 62946. Uh, just change there. You'll, if it's the first time that you're actually using it, the block height will start on zero and go up to about 60,000 and um, 300 or something, I think is the current block height. So just to make you aware, yours will start at zero. Um, just because I've had this installed previously, that's why it's starting up from a much higher point, but normally that would start at zero. So if you go down the left hand side, there's a couple of different options. Um, I'm just gonna be focusing on the wallet features. So if we click on the wallet sort of tab on the left there, you've got the option to create a new Sire wallet. So you press that green button in the middle. And then what you see here is it gives you a seed and a password. These are actually both uh, written the same. This password is what you're gonna be used to access your wallet. So you need to recall these and put them somewhere safe and make sure they don't get lost. So I'm just going to use the mouse to drag over both of these and then I'm just going to press Control and C on the keyboard to copy those. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up Notepad and I'll just save them in there. I'm just going to paste them in there for the time being and then we can actually save them uh, in just a moment. You might want to save them immediately because like I say once this is gone um, it's kind of gone forever. So just confirm that you've written these down and put them in a safe place. So just gonna press that button now. Um, then it's just gonna take a minute or two um, to actually unlock your wallet. Um, it sometimes can actually take quite a few minutes, so just be patient, your wallet will actually uh, unlock. Okay, so it's been a few minutes now and our Sirecoin wallet has now unlocked. So you, you'd also see that the wallet has also synchronized as well. Before this was yellow and now it's gone to green. So we're fully synced up with the network, which is great. Okay, for the next step, it's gonna take a while for your uh, wallet to actually become synchronized, but you can do a few of the other functions whilst it's um, still going through that synchronization process. So for example, you can get a Sirecoin uh, wallet address 
um, you can do that whilst it's uh, still synchronizing. So I'll show you how to do that now. If you just click on the receive sidecoin on the top right hand corner there, um, this is your actual wallet address. So I'm just going to copy that. So I'm going to select it with the mouse and then control and C and copy it again. And I'm actually going to paste it into our notepad over here. So this address here is the one that you're going to be using to receive any sidecoin. So you'd give that to your friend. Uh, you would use that as an, a, a withdrawal address or on an exchange. Or if you wanted to uh, mine coins, um, if you was withdrawing funds from a pool, for example, you would use that same um, address there. Okay, so now that we've uh, created a receiving address, uh, one of the other basic functions would be to actually send Psycoins to another person or another wallet. So to do that, you just click on the send Psycoin option. Obviously, before you do this, you're going to want to have some actual funds in your account. So you must have received some before you can send any. Um, so assuming that you had some in there, in this case we don't, but we'll just pretend we do. So if I just say we send 10 Psycoins, SC is for Psycoin, and the address, for example, I'll just paste our own address in there. So copy that, and then we'll just paste that in there, and then we would click send. Um, in this case, we should get, I've not actually tried it, but we should get some kind of error because we obviously we don't have the funds. Um, so that's, that is exactly what it does there. Um, if we did actually have the funds, we'd click send, the box would close, and then in this sort of main window here, we'd actually see the transaction, and it will give you some basic information regarding the transaction. Um, there is some other features of the wallet. I'm not going to go into too much of a great detail uh, on them right now, uh, but with Sirecoin, as I said, you can use it to send and receive Sirecoins, but you can also use it to host your files or or, or save your files on um, someone else's hard drive. Um, or the other thing that you can do as well is you can actually provide hosting services for other users. So other people can store their data on your hard drive and you can store your data on their hard drive. So it works uh, both ways. And um, obviously if you wish to buy data storage, you can pay for it in Sirecoin. Or if you're a host, you can actually earn Sirecoin for your um, hosting. So that's what the other options are. So if you click on files, that's where you buy and upload. Um, hosting is where you would actually uh, host your or provide your actual data services for others to use. Um, I'll go into that in more detail in another video because there's quite a few uh, bits and pieces to it that need um, explaining. Um, you've got a terminal. You Most people are not going to use that, but basically it's just like a command line inf interface that does uh, essentially all the same features uh, of the wallet um, obviously the wallet is what we've already gone through and then we've just got the actual current version so this is the user interface version is 1.0.2 and the actual sire version is 101 there um, current block is 63218 um, and that's as of today which is the 3rd of August 2016 um, okay, so I think that's about it for this video. Um, I've covered just a few of the basics there. Like I say, it's pretty straightforward um, to get started with. Um, by the way, these are just for demonstration purposes, so don't use um, any of these passwords or addresses for anything at all. Um, as soon as this video has been uploaded, I will be just deleting this information. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. You can put them in the comments area below this video. Thanks for watching guys, till next time.